Minimalists don't buy designer items. I spent so many years throwing away money on fast fashion. I had to learn the hard way that quality does matter. Generally, but not always, that comes with a higher price tag. That's the beauty behind timeless investment pieces. Classic pieces that you can keep in your wardrobe for many years. When you're making a smart, intentional purchase, you're actually practicing minimalism. Just because you spend less doesn't make that a more minimal practice. The same way, just because you spend more on something doesn't make that a less minimal practice. When I started buying higher quality pieces, I wasn't buying the right thing. I was really focused on designers and logos. To anyone out there who shops at fast fashion brands, I'm not here to judge you at all. I was in the same position just a few years ago when I couldn't afford to buy really nice clothing. I did wish that I knew about the secondhand shopping apps back then. I don't know if they existed at the time or if I was just unaware of them, but I have bought a lot of really nice things on the resale apps like The Real Real and Poshmark and even eBay. That's a great way for you to get your hands on nicer brands and higher quality pieces without paying that high retail price tag. Hi, if you're new to my channel, I'm Britt. I'm a minimalist mom of one. Please go and watch my first decluttering video so you can have a better understanding of my personal background and some context for this video. So in this video, I want to share my top 10 tips and items that I use to preserve and protect my favorite pieces. This is the Algae Styler. It's a steam closet that's really great for taking care of delicate clothes. It sanitizes, it gets rid of wrinkles. There's also a sanitizing feature as well as a drying cycle that you can use for your winter gear or if say you hand wash something that's delicate, you can put it in here for drying. It's also great for coats and suits and you can also crease your dress pants in here as well. You just pop this open and you put the pants in here, close the door, and then you run the pant cycle. I use the steam closet a lot to get rid of odors in particularly delicate shirts such as this one to get the wrinkles out and just to clean out all the germs. As a luxury minimalist, this particular appliance is really handy for me. Since I got this appliance, I've completely eliminated my need to go to the dry cleaner. Over time, this appliance will definitely pay for itself. This is the travel must have for me because of the size and how well it works. I really don't like having wrinkles on my clothes. Having a nice, crisp shirt can elevate a simple look. It's also great for lifting smells out of our clothing when we travel, especially sweaters and pretty much anything that my son wears. No matter how expensive your sweater is, when it's covered in pills and loose strings, it looks low quality and uncared for. This fabric shaver works for all materials, so it's very useful. It's so important to give your clothing TLC. When you take care of your things, they will last longer. Appreciating your items no matter how much they cost and being intentional when you wear and care for them, to me, is an essential part of minimalism. This is a wool conditioner I use when I wash wool or cashmere. I do a cold speed wash in conjunction with the next item. I use these mesh bags when I wash anything wool, cashmere, or delicate. Next are wool dryer balls. I've used them for several years now and they've replaced the disposable dryer sheets.
Next on my list are essential oils and I will use these in the dryer. I put a few drops into the dryer ball and it just gives a really nice fresh smell to your laundry without having to use harsh chemicals. So about a month ago, I was getting ready to go out to an early dinner at like five. I dropped a little bit of an oil-based foundation on my white shirt and I instantly started to panic because what do you do when you get something on your white shirt and you need to go somewhere fast? I mean, it would have been weird if that didn't happen. I don't know what made me think to use this, but it just was like the one thing that I had in my bathroom and it is this Dr. Bronner's Baby Castile Soap. Literally, the stain came out, so I'm going to recreate it and see if I'm not lying, which I'm not. It literally works. proof right there. Other stain product that I use is BioClean Backout. This works really well with sheets or any kind of bedding, towels. I'll use it as a stain treatment and then just throw it in the wash. Just recently, while I was reflecting on my year-long designer decluttering journey, I remembered that I had a former friend once tell me, Britt, no matter how many designer things you buy, you will never be cool. And you know what? She was right. Yes, that statement, along with a few others, ended our friendship. I can appreciate the sentiment now. I had a lot of designer things. I had a fancy car. I had so much more than I ever imagined that I would have. At the end of the day, all of these things don't really matter. They don't define you. But give your items good care while you have them. Things equal money and money equals time. I hope this video was helpful. Please give it a like and subscribe to my channel as I am new to YouTube. Ring the bell so you don't miss my future videos. Please leave me any feedback in the comment section below. I hope to see you again soon.